In this video, we'll learn how web-based encryption can be cracked. So we'll start our terminal. And the first thing that we'll do is we'll disable the network manager that is running. So we'll type slash etc slash init.d slash network manager stop. And here you can see the icon which was there on the top right has gone away. Now we can start our main practicals. So we'll run Airmon ng to see the available wireless interface. And here you can see WLAN 0 available. Our practical will run on Mon0 interface. So we'll do Airmon ng start WLAN 0. And now you'll be able to find that the monitor mode has been enabled. So let's verify it once again and the Mon0 interface has started. So let's run aerodump command and see which Wi-Fi's are available in the vicinity. And there are a lot of Wi-Fi's available in my area. I guess I'm lucky. Unlucky because of lot of radiations around. So let's see the encryption schemes which are used. So this is web, 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 and there are so many web devices available around my area. Some of them are open authentication, very simple to log into. Ah, so this is our first access point that we'll try to hack. It is based on web encryption. I'll run the error dump command with the BSS ID of the access point. followed by the channel number and the Mon0 interface. I'll write it in the file. Always remember we'll have to save the packets in a particular file before we start hacking. So all these beacon frames and data packets that you are able to see will be written. This is the client station and this is the BSS ID of the router available. I'll open a new tab. And I'll run the air replay command. You copy the BSS ID of the router followed by the BSS ID of the client machine. I'll copy the BSS ID of the client machine. Followed by the Mon0 interface. So basically what it will do, it will try to read the R request packets from all the available data by sniffing all the packets. R request packet as we had discussed are the fixed sized packet. So we'll open a new tab and we'll run the deauthentication command. Deauth, the BSS ID of all the client of the router. Followed by the Monster interface. So basically it is trying to deauthenticate the client because once client reauthenticates, it will send the ARP request packet. And as you can see, our data rate and the ARP request has suddenly increased. So in short, the more the data packets that we can see, the faster we'll be able to crack the web password. I'll open up the new tab. I'll run the air crack command. So this is the file my hyphen hack dot cap that we had initially mentioned. So I'll run air crack ng hyphen z. Followed by the name of the file. 
and the ending will be dot cap and as you can see it got hacked and this is so simple to hack into so always remember never use web based encryption always try to use wpa2 psk or better would be the enterprise version